It's my feel good breakfast show. But let's catch up a bit more on some entertainment news because the Tony Awards took place in New York on Sunday night and was hosted by Kristen Chenoweth and uh, Alan Cumming, who infused the show with low key medley of jokes and songs that displayed their playful nature and the chemistry that they had between them. So it made for a great show. Now, as for the winners, we spoke about this yesterday, but it was a first time and well deserved win for Dame Helen Mirren, who was named the best actress in a play for her portrayal of the Queen in the audience. And uh, the Dame also is, is, of course, a previous winner of an Oscar for the Queen, and she accepted the Tony Award saying, Your Majesty, you did it again. Uh. Beautiful stuff. <laughs> and uh, other British winners also included Alex Sharp for the Best Actor and Marianne Elliott who uh, won the award for Best Directing of The Curious Incident of the Dog in the Nighttime, which was also named the Best Play, which is inspiring me. I'm looking at Bob and the family there. I'm mm -hmm. thinking we should do like yes. a curious case <laughs> of the triple Bs. But Bob a musical and, B. It mus oh, oh, beautiful, so beautiful. Cool. But uh, another big point of the evening was the Guys' Choice Awards. Mm -hmm. right. Well, that was a lot more fun and a lot more, uh, you know, it's just, it's all, it was very cool. So it was hosted by Empire <laughs> stars Terence Howard and WGP I love that uh, show, by Henson. The way. <laughs> yeah, so they were quite cool, really entertaining the crowds. And the, your, um, the Guys' Choice Awards is mm -hmm. all about things that the awards are not about. <laughs> so it was unpretentious, it was a lot more fun, it was heartfelt. And I mean, it was just an all right uh, night of a lot of fun and just practically all things guy. Yeah. I mean, mm -hmm. some of the awards that went out is Chris Pratt. He walked away with oh. the Guy of the Year award. He the is guy, guy of the guy, Year. Right? He's such a guy's guy. Okay. And this is a typical guy's thing. Uh, Selma he was Hayek, great on Mad Max Fury, yeah. Mm. She accepted the award for a decade of hotness. Can we just have a look at her eyes? Can we just have... <laughs> You know, <laughs> Dust Till Dawn is still one of my favorite movies ever. Thank you, Tarantino. Thank you, Summer Hayek. Praise. And then other awards also included the biggest butt kicker, and that was for Liam Neeson. Right? <laughs> but he uh, does, though. Yes, he, and he, he got the, um, what award did he, he got the Troops Choice Award, Dane, Dwayne Johnson. Yeah, that was The Rock, yeah, okay. Yes, he got that. And then Floyd Mayweather Jr., he won, award. we walked away with the Best Ever Award. <laughs> <laughs> ever, what ever. is that, though? And the guy con went to Jake Gyllenhaal. Um, oh, my goodness. I mean, imagine winning that. I just won the Best Award Ever. <laughs> and then people are going to be like, yeah, that's but cool. But for what? What did you win it for? Just like, I'm just the best. best. <laughs> the best. As, if, as if, like, he needs more ego-boosting awards to go to his right? head. Floyd Mayweather, oh my goodness, we're never going to hear the end of I it know, now. I know, true story. 48 and 0, and now he's just one of the best award ever. <laughs>